Hi, everybody. Time for another card flip through. This time I'm doing a tarot deck that I saved up for six months to get because it was a little on the expensive side. And you can only get it through the website. Um, and that is at... And now I'm going to go blind. I just had it a minute ago. And it's, I believe it's at tarotwonders.com. I'll double check that and add it to the description. Anyway, this is the deck. It's called the Sanctus Concordia Tarot Deck. Um, there's an astrologer that I like to watch. And she always uses this deck for her tarot deck. And I fell in love with the cards watching her. And I finally wrote to her and said, okay, you have to tell me where you got the deck from. And she did. And so I went to check them out. Well, you get the cards. This is the back of the cards here. Is one, one shipment. And then the booklet that goes with it, that's a separate purchase. They don't come together. So... Altogether, it was a little on the high side for my budget. I mean, some people probably could afford it, but I couldn't. So I had to save up for about six months all my little uh, nickels and dimes and pennies until I had enough to get it. And since I've gotten it, I absolutely love using this deck. I don't like to use it when I do political readings. It feels like I'm dirtying them up or something. I don't know. It's weird. I realize that. But I love to use them for personal readings, um, stuff like that. That's that's when it's really good. So I'm just going to walk through these. And um, I, I did one earlier. I was trying to use my other camera so it would just be easier. And it, it just, I'm having lighting problems and stuff. So we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way and hold it up. So here we go. First up is the fool. I'm going to hold these up a little closer so y'all can see them. Okay. Followed by the magician. I mean, these cards are just beautiful. The high priestess. The empress. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Look at all those reds. Beautiful. The Emperor, even more red, but I just love the artwork on these cards. It is just so elegant, so vibrant. Here we go with the Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The devil. The tower. The star. The moon. The sun, judgment, the world. Okay, I gotta switch arms. My arm's getting tired. Okay, Ace of Cups. Two of Cups.
Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Okay. I switch arms again. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Pardon me. I'm having to switch off arms, man. My arm is starting to hurt. <laughs> okay. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. I love this one. Isn't that picture gorgeous? Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. 
nine of wands. Ten of wands. Page of wands. Knight of wands. Queen of wands. And king of wands. I don't know if y'all noticed this, um, but out of this deck, with the exception of a few key cards, the majority of the cards are all female. They're all women depicted as the different characters. Um, I definitely get the feeling that this is more of a divine feminine feeling in this deck. And I think that's why I resonated with it so much. Um, it just, it is a beautiful deck and um, I love color saturated cards. I, I tend to be drawn to those over real simplistic cards, although there's something to be said for the simplistic cards. Um, but uh, from the first time I saw these being used, like I said, on, on someone's site, I was just, I was drawn. I was like, oh my goodness, those are beautiful. And, uh, and then of course, this is the book that comes with it. And um, as you can see, you know, it, it gives you a full depiction of the card and the meaning, both um, upright and reversed. Um, here's another, another picture. Um, it just, the entire book is, is just laid out and it feels, it, it's the, the stock, the paper of the book feels very much like, um, one of your high end magazines or journals, the kind of paper they use. And, um, the cards of course have, um, they're, they're flexible, but they're not like bendy bendy like paper and of course they have the gilded edges which is really nice um somebody like me with short hands short fingers trying to shuffle it's really hard to like get my hand around the whole deck i tend to have to shuffle sideways on them but um anyway so this is the box um, you can go to, it's tarotofwonders.com. I believe it's a .com. But you can go there and they have this deck, the book. They have several other decks as well that are really, really nice. Um, but that was the one I was drawn to. So, like I said, I saved up my nickels, pennies, and dimes until I could afford to get that and the book together. Um so I hope you like it. Um, like I said, when I do personal readings, when I'm doing personal readings, I love using these cards. They just, they seem to resonate better when I'm doing a personal reading than um, some of my other tarot decks. Um, they kind of remind me of the Gilded Tarot in a way. Uh, just the color saturation. It's more of a, more of a classical, elegant, look to them um uh, not to knock regular tarot cards because i like those too um i have all different kinds um uh, in the beginning i only had a couple of tarot decks and and i liked them I, that's what i learned on um and then i started feeling the pull for oracle decks and once i got my first oracle deck and started using them that was it i was hooked completely um and i uh, uh I, it's an obsession now I, I have far too many cards but i can't seem to stop so every time i see a new deck it's like oh oh i gotta have that one <laughs> and there i go again saving up my pennies nickels and dimes until i can afford to get it um i do have a running list on my amazon wish list so and i've had several people i got several really cool decks uh, dicks. Oh God, excuse me. Several really cool decks that um, I was uh, uh, presented with through my Amazon wish list 
for birthday presents from several folks that, that like to watch me and support my channel. Um, so that was, uh, that was really nice. It was a nice surprise. Um, they, uh, I'm still working my way through all of them and, uh, and, and learning them. I like to kind of play with them by myself in the beginning when I get a deck before I start actually using it on people. Um, just cause I like to get a feel of their energy and how, how they feel when I'm drawing them. It, it's, um, I mean, unless you're into the cards, most people don't get it when I say that. They're like, a, a deck of cards is a deck of cards. No, not exactly. Um, they're not. They really aren't. Um, and different decks talk to me in different ways. And so when I find a deck that I really like to use, then um, I, I do everything I can to take care of it. And I have several decks. Um, that I feel that way about. Uh, like I said, I started buying Oracle decks and I just can't seem to stop. <laughs> but that's okay because I've. it feels like I've got an Oracle deck for just about any kind of topic that I might run up against. That would be the perfect thing to use for that reading. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then about six months ago or so, I started getting the tug to go back to tarot decks. Um, and so now I'm building up my tarot decks as well as my oracle decks. And of course, every time I get a new deck of cards, my family just looks at me and it's like, really? Another deck? Where are you going to put this one at? <laughs> my bookshelves are full. That's how crazy I am about getting decks. But there have been times when I've bought decks and they just, I may have liked them in in the pictures and when and what was said about them. And then when I got them and went to use them, they just did not speak to me at all. I just did not resonate with them. And I'll put them aside and wait a while and then I'll go back to them. And if after two or three tries, they just don't talk to me, then I put them aside and I just tell spirit, okay, point out the person that these cards belong to. And when that person shows up, you know, whether if it's in a chat or if I'm doing a show or anything like that, and somebody is really wanting a particular deck and I've got it, and Spirit will tell me that deck belongs to that person. And so I'll just message him and say, uh, can you send me your address? I've got some cards for you. And I'll just give them a deck of cards. Um, I've had people offer to try to buy them off of me. And I'm like, no, it's it's not to buy. It's not for sale. It's strictly a gift from spirit, from me and spirit to you. I was told to give them to you. So that's what I'm doing. And um, so far, the, the, the times that I've done that, the people, when they get the decks, they are really thrilled and they really seem to resonate with those decks. Um, so, okay, I'm going to quit running my mouth and go get something to eat. And then I will um, see y'all when I see you. I'm on several times a week. Uh, I'm on every Saturday night at 11 p.m. Central is the Night Owl Slumber Party. Uh, I never know who I'm going to have as a guest. It's Sometimes it's a surprise even to me. Um, it's an Anything Goes show. We do regular cards, naughty cards, uh, surprise guest, popping guest, just whatever happens, happens. You know, everybody comes in their PJs, or most of us come in our PJs, but it's every Saturday night. Um, it's what my viewers wanted when I did it the first couple of times to see how I would go. Everybody loved it. So um, I really enjoy it because... I tend to be a night owl anyway, and I'm up late. So if you're not doing anything, come on over Saturday night at 11 p.m. Central and hang out and uh, and maybe get a naughty card or two pulled for you or an Oracle card, whatever you're, whatever you're in the mood for that night. It just kind of depends. So y'all have a good one, and um, I will talk to everyone soon. I'm sure I will see everyone soon. And uh, y'all have a great evening. Bye for now.